Hi there, this is Nick Zapla. This video is to show how to download and install the Visual Studio Code extension for Muse. We're providing this extension to allow you to customize your IDE and provide an easy way to interface with Muse controllers. First head over to amx.com and then click Products and Configuration and Management Software. Next, click the Muse extension for VS Code. Under Downloads, you'll see a convenient link for the VS Code installer. If you do not yet have VS Code installed, click this link and follow the instructions provided by Microsoft. To install the extension we have provided for Muse, first download it from amx.com. Click the Muse extension for VS Code and click Download. Extract this file to a convenient location, we'll need to use it later. Next, open VS Code. If this is the first time VS Code has been run on your machine, you'll need to select a folder to manage your projects in. The default for Windows is directly in your current user folder, but you can place the main folder anywhere you like. For my system, I will choose a folder under Documents to allow easy access to the main VS Code folder. To install the VS Code extension, first click on the Extensions tab, and then click on the ellipses, and choose Install from V6 file. Find the file that we extracted earlier, and click Install. With the Muse extension installed, we now have a few Muse Mojo related functions that have been added to our VS Code environment. First, there is a new Explorer folder called Mojo Controllers. This is a combination of locally discovered or explicitly targeted Muse controllers and any controllers you've connected to in the past. To discover new controllers, just click on the refresh icon and the discovery process will occur. Each controller listed has a pip indicating the status of the controller. A yellow pip indicates that the controller is present but not, hasn't been logged into yet. A green pip indicates that the controller has been authenticated into and is available. A black pip means that the status of the controller is currently unknown. To log into a Muse controller, click the login icon that appears when you hover over the controller's address. Follow the prompts to log in and gain access. Once you have been logged in, the tree view will expand to show currently configured devices currently loaded programs, and any age control devices that have been discovered nearby. In the case of this controller, we see that we have two devices defined, one script running, and a handful of age control devices that have been discovered. We can retrieve the program running on the Muse controller by clicking the download button next to the program. If we download the currently running script, it will appear in the Explorer view alongside any other scripts that we may have. From this interface, we can restart the program, attach to debug, detach from debug, enable or disable the automatic running of the script, start or stop the script, or delete it from the controller entirely. Attaching to the script allows you to see debug messages that have been sent to the standard output of the program. We can add a new message and upload the code to the controller and see it appear in the output window of VS Code. To upload to the controller, save the file, right click on the project folder, choose Upload to Mojo Controller, and follow the prompts to confirm the action. We can now see our new message appearing in the debug window. Thank you for watching this video. Further videos will show how we interface with devices in the scripting environment of Muse.